Well, good afternoon. Thank you to whoever is joining and to those that will watch the replay. I'm Patricia Shaw. Thank you, Su Super Chick. Nah. I am Patricia Shaw, the Soul Ties Coach, and I want to thank you all for being here. Thank you to everyone that's joining. I am a certified professional lifestyle transformation coach, and I am so glad that you took time out to be with me today. I hate my life. Have you ever said that to yourself? Thank you, Soul Ties Coach, for joining. I appreciate each and every one for taking time to be here today. Hello, apple of his eye. Thank you. Someone in my Facebook group, they asked, um, as a coach, they said, Patricia, why do you hate your life? It's so awesome. I said, well, you have to watch the Periscope and find out. Well, I hate my life. I used to say that growing up as a child because I grew up with a mother who was married to a man. He had children of his own and we were very poor. And so my mother, she was um, basically a single mother married to a man. She was single but married. And so there was so much pressure and stress on her as a mother. She worked herself to death. And I'll say it just like that. She worked herself to death, taking care of her five children. Praise God. So if I get a little emotional today, it's because this scope is about her. And all of the mothers, single or married, who don't know how to breathe, as a transformation coach, and I'm going back to my title, I Hate My Life. As I said, I grew up, and it had nothing to do with material things, but my mother, because she was so stressed out, and at times we had no money, and she would call us bastards. And it was so detrimental to my life that at the age of 11, I went to the library to find out what this word meant. And it meant a fatherless child. That's the meaning of the word bastard. So that affected me and I had no idea how much this word was going to affect my life. Well, it did. It affected me so that when I was in school and my teachers would tell me what a good student I was, I didn't know how to receive their compliment. I didn't know how to receive compliments from other people because the people that I thought were supposed to build me up instead tore me down. So I lived with that for a long time until one day I found out whose I was. I found out my true identity was not based on who my mother is, who my father is. Thank you, mommy teacher. My identity was based on who God says I am. So this lady, this little girl, me, who, who grew up saying I hate my life and I ended up being in this toxic relationship for about two years of my life because I didn't know my worth. And I thought everything that this man did to me was okay because I wouldn't do better. But God blessed me to where I had someone in my life who told me and helped me to realize that I was fearfully and wonderfully made. And because of her teaching, I came to find out who I was. And as I said, my identity was not based in my mother or my father. Praise God. So I just wanted to come and share with someone today who may have been going through something like this. Your identity is in Christ. Your worth is not based on being married to a man. Your worth is not based on the job that you work at. Your worth is not based on the car that you drive. Your worth is not based on the house that you live in. Your identity 
is connected to the cross. Praise God. And you know, back then, I really did hate my life. But I love the life that God has given me right now. I love that when I disconnected myself with that man that I was in that toxic relationship with, two years later, God sent my husband. And we have been happily married now for 27 years. So I just want to tell you how God can transform. And on my social media pages, Thursday is Transformation Thursday because the transformation has to take place in the heart. You lost all those things. What well, mom and teacher, one, two, three, we must connect. You have to connect with me. Those things do not determine our value. And that's what I inspired the women who connect with me that, praise God, material things don't make us. It's our soul that makes us. So I have, I am a published author. I have written five books. Four of them have been number one bestsellers in their category. This book, 21 Days of Self-Worth Praise, My Journey to Freedom. I wrote this book while literally watching my mother. I spent the last eight days of her life in her hospice room with her. The last eight days of her life. I sat down and I journaled everything that took place. Every emotion that I had never faced. I sat down and God put me in position so that most of the day I was the only one in the hospital room. Praise God. And he allowed me to release all of these feelings. I never got an apology I don't know why I was looking for an apology, but God showed me when I walked in the room, the apology that I had been looking for all my life, he gave it to me. Praise God. 21 days of self-worth praise, my journey to freedom. We as women, we were created to breathe life into each other. If you are going through turmoil there is no way you can breathe life into your brother or sister my mother went through turmoil she did not know how to exhale exhale those problems that she faced on a daily basis as women many of us do not know how to exhale we inhale the problems of our life but we don't know how to exhale. We were created to breathe. E's name in the Hebrew means Shabbat. And I travel the country. I have a conference and it's called the soul of a woman. I speak directly about why we are so different from men. And it has absolutely nothing to do with the fact that we have a womb and they don't. It has everything to do with the fact that we were created to breathe, breathe life. So when I learned how important our role is, I sat down, as I said, I journaled and I wrote this book, 21 Days of Self-Worth Praise. Somebody needs to get this book. It's available now on my website for only $5. But if you want a physical copy, you can order it online, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, wherever books are sold. I want you to get this book so you will know how important you are as a woman. If you can't breathe, then you are gasping for air. And it shows up in the way that you treat people. It shows up in the way that you respond to your children. It shows up in the way that you respond to your husband. It shows up in the way of how you think about yourself. 21 days of self-worth praise. At the end of the book, God gave me seven kingdom keys on how you can transfer your life. 
seven keys, 21 days. In 21 days, your life can change. It will change. You must get this book, dear sister. If you are struggling in any area of your life, I challenge you to get this book. Go to my website, womenofexcellence.biz. Order it online, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Books a Million, anywhere books are sold. You can get a copy of this book. You can get the e-book on my website, womenofexcellence.biz. I want your life to be changed. If you cannot breathe life on your sister, if you cannot breathe life on your brother, on your job, your coworker, your children, you need this book. Because as women, oftentimes we hold things in and we don't ever exhale. And we think it's unnoticeable. But believe me, it is very noticeable. So dear sister, I came on today to tell you, I hated my life at one point. But thanks be to God, I love it now. Seven keys to kingdom success. If you want to turn your life around, get this ebook for $5 on my website womenofexcellence.biz or you can get a physical copy on social on platforms all over uh, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, wherever books are sold. So before I say thank you, I want to ask if there are any questions that I can answer for anyone and thank you for joining me today. Is the young lady still on that says she lost everything? You can send me an email to coach me at womenofexcellence.biz. I'll be glad to speak with you. Coach me at womenofexcellence.biz. I thank you all for being here today. As women, we were created to breathe, to breathe life, not to walk around and gasp for air. We were created to breathe life. And if you do not know how to exhale, you are walking around gasping for air. And I don't want you to walk around gasping for air. Thank you for being here with me today. I am Patricia Shaw, the Soul Ties Coach, certified professional lifestyle transformation coach thank you i love you with the love of god and there is something you can do about it you can love me back god bless your day thank you